Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your dumbbell full body sweat workout. So in this workout, we will work your entire body for strength and cardio using just a set of dumbbells. This is a no repeat workout. We'll get through it quick in just 20 minutes. All you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells. I'll be alternating between my eight and 10 pound dumbbells today and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's start just with a little march. You can march or jog it. Roll through those shoulders to the back or to the front. Just getting the blood flowing, getting the muscles warm with a quick little dynamic warm up. We're not gonna do very much. Big deep breath in. So of course, if you need more of a warm up, get it on your own. Let's take it out to the side. Lean into those hips to open them up. Just rolling through the shoulders. So we are gonna keep this quick, right around 20 minutes, roll through the back, flat, and bring it up. And we're gonna keep it moving. So we will have some quick water breaks, sometimes to put the dumbbells down. But of course, if you need more, you can hit pause. You can always take longer if you need to. I want you to be where you are today. You know what I always say, if you showed up today, you are successful. So breathe, just bring them in. The way it's gonna work is we will start with one move, then we will add on a second, sometimes a third move. So of course, if you wanna keep it with just that first move or that first and second, it's going to gradually build. So it should be pretty intuitive, but if it feels like too much for you for whatever reason, just keep one of the moves or alternate between the two. Hopefully that doesn't sound too confusing, Basically, we're just gonna start with one and then work into a compound movement, which I like to do a lot of. It's where we get multiple muscles working at once. It also tends to serve as our cardio, so we don't need to do a lot of additional cardio. Let's roll those hips because we are getting it moving. We're getting the heart pumping while we're doing those compound movements. So that's why I love compound movements, but of course, you work to your level, listen to your body, just stay safe and keep moving. Okay, so let's grab our dumbbells, bend your knees to get them. And we're going to start with super basic lunge. So one foot forward, one foot back. If you need to modify, you can keep it smaller, just keep it in that front leg. If you can, drop it low, zip up in that core. Ready, here we go. Take it down, bring it up, take it down, and up, nice and low if you can. So both legs are working 90 degrees, both legs really push into that back foot and specifically that front heel. Good, two more. Watch me here. We're gonna add a curl, but we're gonna alternate. We're gonna go down, curl across your body. Down and curl. So it's gonna throw your balance a little bit, but we're getting a little diagonal, right? Take it down and curl, down and curl. So it's a hammer curl. We're keeping that, those palms turned in. Watch me, down if you want, add the knee. It's again, a little bit of balance, so it's up to you. Keep it just regular if you want. Four, three, two, last one and breathe so shake it out super simple right we're gonna get it into that other side so the only way we repeat in these workouts is if we do right and left otherwise we're keeping it no repetition let's take it back right here zip up in that core dumbbells by your side lunge it here we go down and up nice and steady again if you need to keep it smaller range of motion that's okay just get that front heel working, but if you can, all the way down. And breathe, and up. Yes, last two. One, this time, take it across with a regular curl. So it's a little bit different. We're gonna keep that palm towards your body, right? And breathe down, across, and up, 
Good. If you want, add the knee. Lots of moving parts, and it's a little bit weird because you're alternating arms, but it's the same knee, right? So if you want, just keep that. Four, three, two, last one. Good, finish it out here for four, three, two, one. Relax. Drop those dumbbells down. Give your hands a little break. You feel that in your heart rate? You should, I know I do. Shake it out. Let's give our hands a breather from holding, gripping, and our muscles a breather. Quick sip of water. Whew. Breathe. This time, we're gonna take it with one dumbbell. So, I'm gonna go with one of my heavier ones, with my 10. If you have an option, switch it up. Otherwise, just use whatever you got, guys. Totally fine. Dumbbell at the center of your chest. I want you to push in. We're gonna get a nice deep squat, so goblet squat, low if you can. Watch me, here we go. Take it down, bring it up. Just get low. If you need to, you can put a chair behind you or you can reduce your range of motion. But guys, if it bothers your knees, watch me here. All of that is going into those knees. So the lower you get, the better it is for your knees. Take it down. One more. Watch me. Let's add a little abs. Take it across. Take it down. Across. Across. Low to high. Push into that dumbbell so we get a little extra chest and shoulders as we get legs and core. Let's add one more level. Down, across. Down, across. So all the way up, all the way down. Then abs. Legs and arms and abs. Three, two, I think we got one more. Yes! Good. Relax. Whew. Awesome, guys. Speaking of core, let's keep it here. Down to the side. Reach. Side knee. Watch me first. Just reach. Just in that torso. Breathe. Working those obliques. If you can, side knee. Reach. Pull it up. Reach. Pull it up. Yes. Four more. Four. Three. Good. Two. One more. Other side. Switch it over right here. Take it down and up in that core. Zip it up. Bending in the torso. Not moving those hips. You can reach and pull. Reach. Yes. Last four. Four. Woo. Three. Two. One more. And relax. All right, guys, quick sip. Heart rate's not as up. I know that was a little bit of a shorter one. Woo. But don't worry. We got you. Grab that other dumbbell. So I'm going to go here. A little bit lighter. And breathe. Watch me here. I'm gonna step it, lateral lunge. Take it down, push through, other side. Down, push through. And up. Good, four more just like this. Lean into that hip, you know in that lateral lunge. Drive the hips back, side lunge. Good, one more. Let's add a row at the bottom right here, right? Down, row. Push through. Flat back, elbows up. Push through. Down, flat, and up. Yes, there we go. Low, and up. And up. One more. We're gonna add a little bit of a clean or a curl. Watch me here. Step, and down, 
step, row, and down. So if you watch me, I'm getting a little bit of a push off to clean it. If you wanna keep it more steady, just curl. I know we just did some curls, but you can do it. And down. It's a row, it's a clean. Here we go. Nice and deep. Can we get four more? Four. And down. Three. Power. Two. Last one. Yes. Relax. Ha, ah, there's that heart rate, right? Oh my goodness, you guys. Drop them down. Catch your breath. Tab it out. There's that cardio. Almost on up top. Then we take it down whew, to the ground. All right, guys, one dumbbell, one last time. Both sides, we're gonna make it quick. So watch me here. Toes out, breathe. So let's start actually with the upper. It's a little bit of a swing, triceps. Swing, triceps. So a little bit of lower too, right? Breathe, triceps behind your head. Watch me, if you need to go between two hands, that works too. And breathe, core's in tight. Last one right here. Watch me, swing, curtsy. Whoo! It's really gonna throw your balance. So if that feels like too much, you can take it here and then curtsy. Let's all do that. Swing, triceps, keep it up and curtsy. That's better. Triceps, keep it steady. Whoo, offset curtsy, right? Four tries or two hands modification. Three tries. Last two. Two tries. One more. Tries. If you can, keep it here. Four. Yes. Three. Who's burning? Two. One more. And breathe. Oh, good. Shake those out. Keep that dumbbell right in the center. Little skater. Just to shake out those legs. Dumbbell side to side or in the center. Just little taps while we give our legs and arms a little break, but keep it moving. You don't have to hop or get super low. We're gonna go right back other side. So we're gonna start with that little plie swing into tries. Then we'll add that curtsy. Four, three, two, good. It's a lot of moving parts, guys. So if that feels like too much, two hands is fine. And if it feels like too much to add the curtsy, keep it steady. We're pulling that back. We wanna take a part out, right? So toes out, watch me here. Other side, if you can, one arm. Little swing up, behind your head. Swing up, zip up that core. There we go. Little glutes, or two hands, behind your head. Power, power, two, one more. Let's add that curtsy if we want. So swing, tricep, hold it up, curtsy, and push. Here we go. Let it drop. Swing, steady that try. Hold it up, offset. Another option, guys. Here, steady your try. Bring it shoulder if that feels a little better. Here, steady your try, bring it shoulder, or two hands. Here, chest, here, good. Last four, make them good. Up if you can, three more, three, triceps, 
two, steady, offset, if you can, last one, up, can you finish strong for four, three, zip it up, two, one, relax. Oh man, you guys, drop it down, shake out those arms. We're gonna grab one heavy or two dumbbells. We're just gonna do a regular skier swing before we take it down to the mat. We are so close. So if you've got one dumbbell, watch me here in the center, just like your kettlebell swing. You can always check out my video on how to do that, but it's a hinge power up. Keep in the, the dumbbell low, drive it back. If you can, two dumbbells, drive the hips back, skier, you're here. So go ahead and set it up, roll those shoulders, zip up that core, ready. Here we go, take it back. Power it up. So your arms are getting the work, but they're not doing the work, right? It's all back loaded. Again, if you wanna keep it one dumbbell through the center, you do a little more of that kettlebell placement. Eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, one. Relax it down. Woo, cuddle those feet, breathe. Oh, good, good. Quick sip of water, down to the mat. We're in the home stretch, yes. All right, team, how are we feeling? I know. All right, grab those heavy dumbbells. You got it. Down on your side. And breathe. Bring it here. You can take it with or without the bridge. We're gonna start chest press. Here we go. Press it up. Take it down. Press it up, core's in tight. So strong through the arms and chest. Add that bridge if you want. You know, I love this combo. It's pretty common because it's pretty intuitive, but it gets a lot of things working. And breathe. Here we go. We're just going for eight. That's too much. Just take one. Seven. Six. Nice and strong. Get those hips high. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, drop them down. One leg up, get that little stretch. So either keep it here and stretch if you need to modify or take it little scissors. You're gonna get that stretch, hamstring stretch, grab the calf or the thigh, not on the joint, lift those shoulders. I often put this after a bridge because we get the stretch, breathe while we're also Getting high. There we go. Four, eight. A core workout, right? Four, three, two, one. Relax. Roll it over. On to all fours. All right, guys. Watch me here. Modification. Stay on those knees or stay on those knees. Take it here. We're just going to lift and other side, right? So start with that. Join me when you're ready or all the way up right here. So up, center, up. I know we got a lot of rows with those side lunges. Don't worry, we're gonna get it for core too. Take it up, up, twist, center and down, up twist. If you're modifying on your knees, just keep it with the row. It's going to be too hard to twist. So keep it there if you can. All the way up. Take it up. Twist. And down. Up. Two more. Last one. Good. Bring it up. Hold it here. Take it here. Down and up. I know that's hard in your hands, so if you need to, take it here or here. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Flip it other side. So either flip right around. You can be on your hand here. Take it down and up. 
or that elbow. Bring it up, up if you can. Yes, four, three, two, one. Relax, ha, good work, team. Breathe, how do we feel? I think we covered it. We got a lot of tries, chest, back, a lot of legs, a lot of cardio, and some core, right? So stretch it over. I had in my brain that we might do one more core move, but let's keep it short, right? You can always check out my other core workouts if you wanna get a little extra. But we got lots of obliques. Breathe, take it here. And standing core as well, right? Take one leg out. Take it here, fold it over. And breathe. Good work. So make sure you check out all of my other workouts. There's playlists. You can see all that I have. Dumbbell workouts, kettlebell, uh, TRX, bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal, no equipment. And then of course you can check, look by body part, upper body, lower body, core, full body, or uh, by time as well. I got a lot of shorter ones as well and longer, cross it over and breathe. And if you're looking for a little more structure to go along with these videos, make sure you click the links in the description below and whew, breathe, take it forward. You will find my eBooks and programs. Those are just curated schedules to go along with the YouTube workout. So if you're looking for more of a routine, more of a schedule, you can check those out, see what might work best for you. And then of course, check out my nutrition guide. The link is also in the description below. It is not a diet plan. No counting calories or macros, no restrictions. Just helping you build a balanced plate, giving you things to choose from so you get the structure, but also the flexibility so you can eat what you like, right? Woo. As we know, fitness is only half the battle. Nutrition for overall health and strength and function. That's what we're going for, right? Oh man, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know. Leave me a comment, hit that like button, and of course, please subscribe. When you subscribe, that helps me keep making completely free workouts for you. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell full body sweat workout. Great job, everybody.